Well, Jonathan Waters, I'm an attorney in Macon, and my family in from Reef City, Georgia, uh, not far from here. We've been over there since 1783 in that same area. And uh, in fact, in 1990, I was a Republican candidate for Congress here in Brooks County. It was quite a while ago, so I'm not from the county, so I am. Uh, my grandfather was a railroad. So, he had a house in Jacksonville, Florida, where he worked for the railroad. And then they had a house in Ray City, where my father and all the kids, my father was born in that house. And everyone would come up in the summers and spend time at that house, and that's where they would stay. And that's what I did, and I worked in Valdosta. And I say that because part of the reason everybody wanted to go up to Ray City, everybody wanted to go up to South Georgia, was you could hunt. You could fish, you could get outside and fresh air, and it, and it wasn't city life like in Jacksonville. And I think Brooks County is at a crossroads. And, and I've prepared a packet here, and I've, I've given it to each of you so that y'all will have my position and my client's position. But basically, the summary of this plan is that what y'all do here today will affect, affect the future of Brooks County. Now, some of y'all may have seen the movie The Hunger Games. And in that movie, there are districts for different types of activity in this world. And this would make, this is going to make Brooks County an energy district. Sable Trail Pipeline came through here, which is owned by Nextera, a few just finished recently. And now this project, which is more in tune to an industrial area, is going to come through here and just open the door for more of these types of projects. The types of projects are more suitable to areas like the Mojave Desert where the big projects are. But here you're going to have one of the biggest projects here in Brooks County if you, if you make this a statement. Now, I went to the University of Georgia. I've got three degrees from the University of Georgia. I have a master's degree in Ag Econ from the University of Georgia. I study at um, Rural Economic Development, University of Georgia, and appraisal and everything like that. And this gentleman came from the University of Georgia, gave the official position in the University of Georgia, which I'm shocked he did that. But he pointed out the model zoning ordinance. And I think you'll agree that in the model zoning ordinance, it specifically states, first and foremost, Site solar energy systems to avoid clear cutting forests entirely. Let me just say I didn't get the official University of Georgia opinion. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, you to I apologize. Thank you. I apologize. Okay. But, but it says in there, first and foremost, site solar energy systems to avoid clear cutting forests entirely. Your, this project, and you'll see in these things we provided, shows Miami Plantation, pictures of Miami Plantation where this site is, and what a pristine forested area this is. Some of the record game has been, has been shot on this property. You'll also look in here at your own Zord, I mean, y'all have to, y'all are the commissioners of roads and revenues, or the Brooks County. And one thing you have to look at is the zoning ordinance and your 2030 plan, and your 2030 plan, y'all have stated, is the official representation of the policy of Brooks County for development. And if this whole project is counter to that plan, if you look in here, this zoning district, this is an agricultural use zoning district, it specifically says the purpose of this district is to permit agricultural uses, to encourage the maintenance of the rural countryside, to preserve forests, and other undeveloped lands away from areas of population growth and to allow residents to retain their traditional way of life. 3,000 acres, 1,700 acres of solar panels is just not consistent with that agricultural use. Now, they want to use a radio tower exception, a power station exception. They want to try to bootstrap in under their previous project. But if you look at the application itself, that y'all are ruling on tonight. The application itself is in the name of Quitman Solar LLC. 
That's who the applicant is. Mr. Waters, that's your time, sir. Thank you. Is Bob a lead? May Mr. Waters speak on 